Hello again and welcome back to part two of this whole Nokia 3310 ripoff fake thingamajiggy. This came in the mail for me today and I've been waiting all day to finally rip this open and have a look at it. And as I said in the previous video, I'm filming in the same day, uh, so I've still got fan noise and it's still 108 degrees here in Australia. Um, it's like 25 degrees Celsius, but you know, you get the point of it. Anyways, no customs declaration on this. So this little thing in here cost me $21.59 and that's Australian as well, so that's like I don't know, 14 US, 15 US, something like that. Now this was purchased off eBay. Now the actual listing for this shows that it's supposed to be a real deal Nokia. Or Nokia, sorry, whatever the pronunciation is, or pronunciation. Sorry, my words are mixed up. It leads you to believe that this is an actual official release by HMD Global or Nokia. Anyways, enough rambling, let me show you. And I'm really hoping that inside of here is what I bought. So, coming from the previous video, the box was all squished and I had to reassemble it. In this one, the box is... stuck. Ooh, what is it? Mystery box. Nothing else? No. Ha! Huh. Well, can't tell me that's not a fake, now is it? We have this nice little blue box that says Nokia. Nothing around the box. Nokia. Oh, here we go. Be safe. Be original. Always use Nokia original enhancements for safety. Blah, 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 blah. 2008 Nokia. 2008? 2008? No, this says 2018 in the listing. Hmm. Something's not right. And if you're wondering, by the way, yes, it, it's a fake. I can guarantee that. Well, let's have a look at the Nokia 3310 Mini Classic. 2018 edition. Oh, well, it's already on. What's a start? Oh, God, it's brighter than the sun. Okay, uh, let's leave that to the side for a minute and have a look at the accessories that come with it. So, inside of here, we have the power adapter, which impressively says not here on it. Oh, pfft. That's a, uh, that doesn't look right, does it? One of those travel adapter things. Yeah, wouldn't use one of them. And the user guide. We don't get a micro USB cable or anything. I mean, I don't even think there's micro USB on here. But anyways, let's have a look at the user guide. I don't know about you, but uh, I don't fancy myself reading a novel right now. Hang on, whoa, 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 hold up. All rights reserved, the logo, iPhone, and iTunes are trademarks of ink. The iPhone logo. Why are we talking about an iPhone when we've got a Nokia? What? It's definitely real, I'm telling you. Super real. Like, legit. Completely legit. So, this thing here. It's supposed to be a mini version. It's not that much smaller than the actual fake. Which is smaller than the real deal. Can you see a trend here? And them all being fingerprint magnets? I can too. Pretty much having the exact same layout, the D-pad feels like it's only two-way as well, but we'll have to check that. And it looks like only a monochrome screen that was shown in the listing. Keypad buttons, well they're nice and quiet, so that's a start. I mean, if you can hear it over all the fan noise. On the back, pretty much the exact same color, it's charcoal. Um, speaker grills, no camera on the Mini Classic. Let's look over the ports really quickly. So on the mini classic thingy, we have a flashlight and just the standard Nokia charger. Um, there is what looks like, yeah, it's a 2.5 mil headphone jack there. Uh, probably a microphone there. And that's it. Very basic. I kind of stuffed up. There is a 3.5 mil headphone jack on here. And this is the standard Nokia port. Sorry, it's late. <laughs> it's late at night. And I'm not thinking straight, so just clarifying that up. I'll fix it throughout the video. All right, we're breaking into the phone here. That took a little bit of uh, getting off too. That was quite tight. So here's the sticker that was included inside of the box. That should be on the outside of the box. I should probably fix that. But um, yeah, they've gone to the trouble of making it seem like it's the real deal. Hint, it's not. If you see one of these on eBay and you think it's the real deal, trust me, no. Just go to GSM Arena and look up Nokia you be surprised. Now, I'm not even sure of the specifications of this, but I might leave it at the end. Because um, when I seen this on eBay, I just bought it. <laughs> Didn't even think twice. They've gone to a lot of effort here by 
making a fake BR5C battery complete with the hologram. I mean, that BR5C text is off, looks off to me anyways. I'm gonna say that this is a fake Nokia. Why would they put a real Nokia battery in there? It just doesn't seem right. Anyways, and here is the sticker inside the phone. Model 3310 RHXY2017. I'm pretty sure that's not the code name of any Nokia phone that I've heard of, but I could be wrong. There is a full-size SIM card slot there. It is only 2G, I am fairly sure of it. But there is no micro SD card slot, no micro USB, nothing. And it's quite funny because this one costs more than this one does. So, I mean, you could probably find these cheaper, I don't know. Let's have a look at this device. Sorry, there is a screen protector on here. Didn't realize it. Um, obviously, this is going to be a very short sort of review for the phone. There's obviously not going to be that many features, but we'll go into it. Let's turn it on. Does that LCD look crooked? Oh, I have to actually insert a SIM. Radio. Very reminiscent of um, the old monochrome uh, Nokia's, the 1110, was it called? Sort of that vibe it's giving me. Take two. I'm fairly sure that LCD is crooked in there, but... Hey, that sounds pretty real. Uh, it can be 9 o'clock. It can be that date. And that's it. Looking very old school. It does have that old school vibe to it. Which is really cool. That's what's cool. It has this old school vibe to it. Whereas this one, it's just sort of like the Java operating system. And it, this one has more charm to it. And only because it's got Nokia written everywhere. And it's clearly not a real deal. But they, this is definitely a... Um, they tried to be on the mark with this. Contacts. Let's have a look. Everything is just... Oh yeah, this is a um, four-way D-pad. Oh, no it's not. The middle key doesn't function. So, yes, it's a four-way instead of a five-way. Call register, settings, let's have a look in settings. Tone settings, display settings, profiles, time settings, call settings. I'm back to the start again. Language, key guard, yep, startup tone, welcome note, cost settings. Balance display, in call timer, call summary. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like they've actually just got the original sort of Nokia OS and just chucked it on here. It's quite funny. Store factory settings. Tone settings. Yep. The old Nokia tune. Go on. I'm going to actually say that that is actually quite a decent speaker for this little thing. Um, sounds really good. Games. Here we go. Snake. Oh my god, it has snake. Didn't look like a snake to me. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, it's... It's kind of like snake too, but um, not that fun. Where's the sound, by the way? Rules of the... Go. Rules of the gut. Make snake grow longer by taking food. Use key to move the snake. Do not hit walls or hit the snake's tail. I'm... yeah, okay. It's a fake. <laughs> Easy, ordinary, or hard. I believe the level selection was 1 to 7? 1 to 9. If I remember correctly. New game, let's start. Oh, see how it's sort of like lagging along sort of thing? Whereas if you go back and look at the original Snake games, they're very, you know, smooth. They don't sort of lag around or anything like that. Anyways, at least it has Snake on it, so that's a good thing. This one didn't have Snake. Game settings, game sounds on, vibration effect on, but there's no sound or anything. Extras. What do we got in extras? We have a calculator. We have a converter. A countertum. If you want to pronounce that better, feel free. We have a stopwatch and calendar, demo, yep, network services, just, no, I was going to say, we can't choose 3G, it's definitely not 3G, it's 2G. So that's really all there is to say about this one. I'm going to give it credit because it does have that original sort of 
3310 vibe, which is what the re-release was actually going for. So, thumbs up to that. But, it's actually a decent knockoff, I'll say that. Um, even though it's limited in functionality, it makes up for it in its, in its sort of pure retro-ness. You know, having the monochrome screen, having the really sort of there's a really tiny screen like the old Nokia's did. It just is a real good throwback, you know, no color screen, you know, n no fancy things. This is just a phone. That is it. <laughs> Kudos to this phone. I think it's good. It's a good little collectible. I mean, even though it's sort of the same size as its um, counterpart, even though this one has more features, I like this one better. I mean, it's got the Nokia branding and everything, so yeah, thumbs up to that. I'm going to Google the... Um, product code inside of here and tell you what it says. Fun fact, if you Google RHXY 2017, it comes up with a Wikipedia article about some fish and uh, some dude with a PhD and a rear view mirror for a car. Yeah, it's definitely legit. <laughs> definitely legit. Anyways, that's all for this one as well. Um, that pretty much does it with the 3310 Classics. Um, I I had a look around at another smaller one, like the really, really small ones, um, that copy the sort of the same look of it, but I think this is going to do me for now. Um, I'm going to move on past the 3310 phase that was, you know, already sweeping around five months ago, and I'm just late to the party. It was good to have a look at this. Anyways, thanks for sticking around and watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Sorry, just before I end this video, I just wanted to show the inside of the phone. That's pretty much all I have to show before I say, yeah, definitely legit. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you would like to see more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.